subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Komodo Dragon. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy Hero. What is it, Hero? What did you find? Hero, it's an egg. Did you scare the bird away from her egg? An egg is one of the ways a baby animal gets born. Most eggs have shells that protect the baby animal inside. The baby bird will have to crack open the shell and push its way out. See, it's pretty hard. We need to find a warm place to put the egg so that it will hatch. Great idea, Hero. Let's bring it to the treehouse. I think the baby bird is coming out. That's weird. Baby birds don't look like that. It's not a bird. It's a lizard. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little lizard. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, brother. The computer is looking for information about the lizard. Bingo! This lizard is a Komodo dragon. A dragon? Yes, a Komodo dragon. It's a type of lizard. Despite its name, it doesn't breathe fire. <laughs> it's also known as the Komodo monitor. Where does it come from? Komodo dragons are found mainly on the islands of Southeast Asia. The Komodo dragon you found comes from here. So what do Komodo dragons eat? Komodo dragons eat other animals, such as birds, mammals, and other lizards. It's a carnivore. Baby Komodo dragons eat insects and other small animals. Hmm, there aren't that many insects in our garden. We should bring baby Komodo back to the island it came from. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Is it, Hero? <gasps> Baby Komodo is gone! Where did he go? <coughs> Let's follow Hero! There you are, Hero! <coughs> oh no! Baby Komodo is being chased by an adult Komodo dragon! We need to help baby Komodo. What should we do? Wait, the baby dragon is almost at that tree. He's safe if he can climb up. Oh no! A second Komodo dragon appeared. To scare away a Komodo dragon, we need to make loud noises. Loud noises? Okay, Hero, you know what to do. Dragons are confused because of the noise. I've got you, baby Komodo. Great job, everyone. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to keep baby Komodo safe, 
just find an empty spot in a tree. Not far out at sea, or with a lizard family, but an empty spot in a tree. I see. So not far out at sea, or with a lizard family, but, but an, an empty, empty spot, spot in a tree. tree. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a safe spot for baby Komodo, we need an empty spot in a tree. Good luck! Okay, Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be an empty spot in a tree. Is this tree empty? No, it's not. That's a hawk! They even hunt for small animals. So let's continue. What's this? Hmm, that is a lizard family. We'd better keep looking. Is this tree empty? It is! Good work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it! We found an empty spot in a tree for the baby Komodo dragon. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found a young Komodo dragon in our garden. We learned that a Komodo dragon is a lizard. So we went to the rainforest and found a safe, empty spot in a tree. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Reticulated Python. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Hey, stop it, Hero. What are you doing? It's just a jumping rope, Hero. Did you think it's a snake? Hmm. Why don't you look for snakes in the garden? Just bark if you find one. Don't worry, there are no snakes in this garden. That's impossible. Maybe Hero found another jumping rope. Let's have a look. <laughs> what is it, Hero? Wow, it's a real snake. And it's so big. And are those its eggs? Hero, don't get too close. It could be dangerous. Don't worry, snake. I'm not going to hurt you or your eggs. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about this snake. There we go. This is a reticulated python. A reticulated python? Yep. Reticulated pythons are one of the largest snakes in the world and are found all around Southeast Asia. One of the largest? How big do they get? They can grow longer than six and a half meters in length, which is like four people standing on each other's shoulders. Normally they eat small animals like rats and birds, but they're also known to eat dogs, cats, pigs, and even small bears. Pythons normally don't attack people, but to be safe, it's better to keep a distance. Are they poisonous? The correct word to use is venomous. And no, they are not. They're just very strong. Why do you think this python is in a cage? Some people keep pythons as pets. Maybe someone abandoned it when it laid its eggs. Poor python. We've got to get this python and her eggs back into the wild. The city is no place for her. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots 
Katie, but the mother python disappeared and Hero needs our help. Let's go and find Hero. No, Leo. Hero led the hippo away from here to protect us. Hippos are extremely aggressive and too dangerous to follow. You're right, Katie. Hero knows what he's doing. He should be fine. Let's look for the mother python then. If there are hippos, there should be water around. The mother python could be there. We didn't find anything. Normally, it's Hero who helps us find what we need. Look, we're back where we started. Hero! You went back where we last saw you. You're such a smart dog, Hero. Now Hero and the eggs are safe, but only the mother python is still missing. Hmm, where should we look to find the mother python? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the mother python, just look for a lake. Not for a cooked steak or a birthday cake, but look for a lake. I see. So not for a cooked steak or a birthday cake, but look for a lake. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the mother python, you have to look for a lake. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a lake with the mother python. Is that a python? Hmm, those are just vines. Let's continue. Is that a python? That's just a monkey. Can you see what that is? Yes, it's a lake. Perhaps the mother python is there. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. There's the mother python. Let's keep a safe distance. We did it. We found the mother python. Hooray! Yay! We found a python and her eggs in our garden. It was a reticulated python. We learned that reticulated pythons are the largest snakes in the world and that they are great swimmers. So we went to the rainforest and brought the python and its eggs back to its natural home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The leatherback sea turtle. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time for a game of table tennis, Hero. Okay, Hero, I will serve the ball first. Here I go. Oh, almost, Hero. What is it, Hero? More balls? How did they get here? Oh my, what's happening? It's a baby turtle. So these aren't balls, they're eggs. Do you know what we should do? 
Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now smile, little one. Hi, Katie. What information did you find about the baby sea turtle? Hi, Leo. There are seven types of sea turtles. This one is a leatherback sea turtle. It's the largest of all sea turtles. The leatherback sea turtle is named for its shell. It doesn't have a hard bony shell like other sea turtles have. Instead, its shell is covered with skin which feels like rubber or like leather. The leatherback sea turtle can also dive deeper than any other sea turtle. Leatherbacks eat small sea creatures, but what they mostly eat is their favorite food, jellyfish. Unfortunately, they sometimes find plastic bags in the sea and mistake them for jellyfish, so they eat the plastic bags. This is one of the reasons why the leatherback sea turtle is in danger. Oh no! People should not throw their garbage in the seas. Absolutely, Leo. Especially because the leatherback can be found in almost every sea worldwide. Male leatherbacks never leave the water, but female leatherbacks will leave the water to lay her eggs at the beach. I see. We should bring the baby sea turtle and the eggs back to their nest at the beach. Great idea, Leo. That's their best chance for survival. Turtle is trying to make it for the sea. Oh no, raccoons! No, you can't have these eggs. It's too dangerous here, little one. Let's run. What can we do, Leo? I sense trouble, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky, raccoons are trying to get the baby sea turtle and the sea turtle eggs. Raccoons dislike bright lights, strong smells, and loud noises. Good luck. I have an idea. Let's try to make some noise with those smelly dustbin lids. Hopefully, that will scare the raccoons away. Great idea, Katie. And there is Hero to help. They're finally gone. The eggs and the baby turtle are safe again. Now, where can we find the sea turtle's nest? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Sometimes, crabs called ghost crabs try to steal eggs from sea turtles' nests so they can eat the eggs. So if you want to find the sea turtle's nest, just look for ghost crabs, not for yellow cabs, or country flags, but look for ghost crabs. I see. So not for yellow cabs or country flags, but, but look, look for, for ghost, ghost crabs. crabs. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the sea turtle's nest, you have to look for ghost crabs. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be ghost crabs. Are those ghost crabs? Hmm, no, those are seashells. So let's continue. What is that? It's a starfish. How interesting. But better look somewhere else. What are those? <gasps> those are ghost crabs. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Shoo, crabs! <laughs> Good luck, little friend. Look, the eggs are hatching. Goodbye, everybody. We did.
did it! We found the sea turtle's nest! Great job, everyone! Hooray! We found a baby sea turtle and eggs in our garden. We learned that they are leatherback sea turtles. They have soft shells and prefer sandy beaches to lay their eggs. So we brought the eggs back to the sea turtle's nest and the baby sea turtles found their way to the sea. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The estuarine crocodile. Oh, hi everybody! My name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I just saw a big bird drop something. Do you want to help me look for it? You found it, Hero? Oh, it's an egg. But it's already empty. I wonder what was in it. What's the matter, Hero? Don't be sad about an empty egg. Ah, Hero! It's some kind of lizard. Are you okay, Hero? I wonder what kind of lizard this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Hi, Katie. Did you find out what kind of lizard it is? Hi, Leo. As it turns out, it's not a lizard. It's a crocodile. And this one is an estuarine crocodile, also known as the saltwater crocodile. A crocodile in our garden? Wow! As a baby, it's very small, but it can grow up to five meters in length. That's huge! An estuarine crocodile must eat a lot to get to that size. The estuarine crocodile is a carnivore, which means it feeds on other animals. On almost every animal, it can even attack humans. Hmm, where do estuarine crocodiles come from? Estuarine crocodiles can be found in the tropical parts of Southeast Asia, South Asia, Australia, and the Pacific. They usually live in mangrove swamps or estuaries. A mangrove swamp is a place in the tropics where trees grow thickly along a saltwater river or sea. An estuary is an area where a river meets the sea. We should go there and return the baby crocodile to its nest. Come and join us. Good thinking, Leo. See you downstairs. What is it, Hero? A sign? Oh, it's warning us that there are crocodiles nearby. I don't see any crocodiles, but we'd better be careful, Katie. Let's keep walking. It says here that crocodiles are very good at hiding in water. We should also avoid thick vegetation where crocodiles could hide. So, if crocodiles are very good at hiding, does that mean there might be crocodiles here, but we just can't see them? Um, there might be, Leo. Wait, where's Hero? <laughs> Hero! Leo, humans can run faster than crocodiles on land. Let's hope so, Katie. Run! Oh no, another crocodile! Let's jump on these logs in the river. These aren't logs, Katie. They're crocodiles. Yikes! There's only one way out. Everybody, it's time to fly. Oh, that was close. But what should we look for now? 
Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. Estuar and crocodiles lay their eggs in a mound of vegetation and mud. So if you want to find the baby crocodile's nest, just look for a mound made of twigs. Not for a basket of tasty figs or a pen full of pigs. But look for a mound made of twigs. I see. So not for a basket of tasty figs or a pen full of pigs, but look for a mound made of twigs. Remember, mother crocodiles guard their nests fiercely. So always keep a safe distance from the nest. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the baby crocodile's nest, you have to look for a mound made of twigs. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the baby crocodile's nest. What's that? Hmm. It's a bird's nest. Let's move on. Is this a crocodile's nest? It's a nest, but not of a crocodile. So let's keep looking. Is that a mound made of twigs? Yes, it is. It's the crocodile's nest. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We found the baby crocodile's nest. Great job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a baby estuarine crocodile in our garden. We learned that estuarine crocodiles live in a mangrove swamp or estuary. So we returned the baby crocodile to its nest in the mangrove swamp. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.